Hi, I am Alessandro Portale from Nokia Qt Development Frameworks. One of the great news of Qt 4.6 is that you can develop Qt applications for the Symbian platform. This short video will guide you through one of the most challenging parts in Symbian development, that is setting up a Symbian development environment on your Windows PC. A Symbian development environment usually consists of the Nokia OV Suite for easy application installation to our phone, Carbide C++, which is an Eclipse-based IDE for Symbian development, Active Perl 5.6.1, Build 658, and a 60SDK. It contains the Symbian platform-specific tools, header files, libraries, and the cross-compiling toolchain for the phone. We also want an updated OpenC plugin. It will be installed on top of the S60 SDK and later also on our phone. And last but not least, we want to install the application TRK on our phone. That is needed for on-device debugging and automated deployment. We visit the Nokia OV Suite download page. There we click download and install it. If after the installation we see such an icon, the Nokia OV Suite is connected to our device. We visit the Carbon C++ download page at Forum Nokia. There we click on Download Now. And oops, we need to log into Forum Nokia. If you do not have an account yet, you can get it through the registration form. During the installation, we can leave all the settings as they are. After the installation, we start the shortcut called Configure Environment for WinSCW command line in order to add a few required environment variables to our system. We visit the Active State download page of Active Perl 5.6. There, we choose the version 5.6.1, build 635. This is the recommended version by Forum Nokia. Any other Perl version might deter the Symbian toolchain from working properly. When installing it, we make sure that Perl is added to the path environment variable. We visit the S60 SDK download page at Forum Nokia. We have the choice between three SDKs. Now, which is the right one for us? Normally, we would use a specific S60 SDK, for example, third edition, feature pack 2, to build our application. And that application would run on an S60 third edition feature pack 2 based phone. Or we would use the S60 SDK fifth edition to build our application and run that on the phone with S60 fifth edition. But in effect, since we will use the Qt API, all those version differences do not matter. Our Qt application can be built with any S60 SDK since the third edition feature pack 1. And we can run our application on any S60 phone with at least the third edition feature pack 1. That means that we have a free choice here. I simply choose the fifth edition and click on download. If the installer complains about a missing Java runtime environment, we don't care. We need to make sure that we have enough space on the drive where we install the SDK. Qt has to be installed on the same drive later on. The installer offers to also install the CSL ARM toolchain, which we accept. It is needed to build our applications for the phone. We visit the OpenC plugin download page at Forum Nokia. The installer will ask us for the S60 SDK on top of which we want to install the OpenC plugin. The pre-selected one should be fine. We visit the application TRK download page and choose the app TRK package with the right version for our phone. Since I have an Express Music 5800 which runs the S60 5th edition, I take the 5.0 version. We simply execute the downloaded sysx file and the OV suite will start the installation to our connected phone.
you have now a fully functional Symbian S60 development environment. Now we can get Qt running on top of it.